This island in Tanzania is known as a refuge for people with albinism, and it's where Alphonse has made his home. Like all albinos, Alphonse has a very poor eyesight and is vulnerable to skin cancer, but that's not the only threat. The truth is, we the people living with albinism on the island are safe because the police force have ensured the island's security is very tight. We're also surrounded by water and therefore if someone dares to commit a crime and tries to escape it won't be easy. They'll definitely be arrested and that's why you can see we're in a safe environment. In many parts of Africa, they are attacked and murdered for their body parts, with which doctors turning them into potions and charms. But on this island at Lake Victoria, he feels safe. Rumor goes that families used to dump their relatives here, believing the pigment-free skin was the sign of a curse. They survived, and others made their way here too. Now 75 albinos live on the island among a population of 200,000. But although it's safer than the mainland, the threat of attack is always present. I am not afraid. I have been to many places despite the fact that killings were going on, but I was not worried at all. It is however sad when you hear about the killings in other places because you know that there will be a time that the same will happen to you, but I am not worried. In Malawi and Tanzania, hundreds of albinos have been murdered or attacked and their bodies dismembered. Aid agencies worry about the island's safety and ask whether the albinos have simply been abandoned and ignored. I think this, this, the idea of a safe haven is, is a fallacy. Like the, the, historically, there was um, kind of myths around um, the fact that, that people were basically dumped here, mm -hmm. like they were brought here. Um, but even last night, I was, I, was with, um, I was with someone who told me about an, att an attempt on, on his life here on the island as well. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's there's obviously like the romanticism of like an island population, which is kind of, which is somewhat um, detached from the mainland as well. For now, at least, the albinos of Ukerewe can safely walk outside, walk and interact with the local community. Yet the stigma and the fear of future attacks still exists. <laughs>